I'm not really familiar with his resume and his body of work, but the few other things that I've seen, this seems like he really stepped it up a little bit. He was challenged as an actor, it looks like to me, and he really, I thought his delivery was amazing. From a writing perspective, I think it was a bit far-fetched. It made no sense. There were gaps that I felt like there were unanswered questions. Um, and again, like I said um, to a friend of mine a few days ago, I said, you know, I remember just watching this and I picked up on several different lines from other Tyler Perry movies. So there's a lot of repetition in what he does and whether it's intentional or not, you know, we don't know. But um, I do think that there is a lack of creativity, but we have to also remember that when someone becomes a brand, you know, when you become a brand and not just a producer, a writer, a director, he's also a brand. You know, there is a high demand to get out whatever, um, how many movies he's committed to in the course of over five years. If he's committed to 20 projects, he's got to get them out. It's almost like, you know, when you have a record deal, and I'm very familiar with that word, when you have a record deal, and that deal says you have to have five albums in five years, they really almost get to a point where the production is so poor, nobody cares as long as the music gets out because you have to honor the commitment. So we also have to take that into consideration. But is there plagiarism? I don't know if there's plagiarism, if they're just, you know, cutting and piecing, you know, stuff together. I read some of Athena's script. I read some of Tiara's script. I'm going to throw this together with some few lines of, of some other films that I've done so people know it's my trademark. And boom, now we got divorce in the black. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Listen, I watched that movie too. And at first, I know the scene you're talking about in the beginning. I was like, this is a Rachetta. Rachetta scene, if I've ever seen one. It was very ghetto at that first 10 minutes. It kind of gave you kind of like Rasputia from Norbit meets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and, and with every Tyler Perry movie, why is it always a church, a church scene somewhere? Is that like you a know, template? You know, I think one of the things that he falls stereotyped into is that um, Black folks and the church. And I just think it becomes very stereotypical from that perspective. I don't know if he is look if that because I do know with Medea that was his um, claim to fame with being in the black church. You know, because everyone from the churches were going to see his stage plays and it was a church event, a church place to go and fundraisers. So I think he's kind of stuck in that area where that's his niche. Um, I know he has stepped out of his genre of of the Medea kind of format, but um, it hasn't been as successful as the, you know, as the format as he's done with the, you know, angry black woman or the mistreated black woman. So we'll see what's coming up next. I'm sure there'll be some revisions to his approach to things, especially with all the feedback he's been getting from this current project. Yeah. Now, Tiara, I want to kick it to you because I want to see what your feelings are, because on one hand, you know, Corey Hardrick and Megan Good was saying that this movie was the highest they ever got paid and they only had to shoot it in three weeks. And that's the, the span of their Hollywood career. Like Tyler actually paid them what they were worth, right? Especially in the industry where Taraji and other people have, Monique, other people have come on and said the black actresses and actors, Viola Davis, have not been getting paid. So on one hand, he's paying the actors and the actresses. But on the other hand, the, the writers, the production, there's been complaints about that. How do you feel about that as someone who is in Hollywood and in that um, industry? That is such a, a great assessment, right? So there's something about, uh, you know, paying actors and again, like making sure that you are seen as the genius behind everything else, right? I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Like uh, Erica was saying earlier, um, you know, when you have a quota that you have to make to the studio or to a record label, uh, you know, you had that means you have to put on the work. The the thing is, you could put on the work and there's they hire songwriters, they hire writers and they get writers rooms. And like, even if you get a mini room, which is like not as big as a writing room, right? Like get something, something. I think I've seen a and uh, something uh, he had he had went away and was like somewhere in Australia or something. And he, uh, you know, he he took a picture of like, you know, nature and was like, just finished writing 70 episodes in two days. And I was like, it's trash because <laughs> there's no way you can do that and really like 
find the nuances of the characters and like character building is a thing right like unless you like it's 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 a it's a process it's a you know you uh, creating conflict between characters and finding motivations and pain points and things that will really resonate with people it's really an art and and sometimes i feel like it goes over that that part of it goes over his head a, it goes over his head a bit you know like he just doesn't he doesn't care about that. That's not important to him. And 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 sometimes for some some film writer uh, filmmakers, they they do they um they value one thing over another. Some something has to suffer, you know. Um, if you're making things in three weeks, right? You're making it in three weeks. That means like, listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this script together. This is this always gets the job done. I'm gonna bring in some really good actors, and I'm gonna like coach them and going to direct them to overact a little bit and like it's going to feel like a, a a play but it's going to be on screen and you know he just you know i mean he has a formula and it works for him obviously he's a billionaire and i am not so i won't criticize the way he's gone about his business i just think um i'm 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 over it <laughs>